Hello everyone, Lisa here. Welcome to What's Crafting Wednesday. Uh, tonight we're going to be making an utterly cute card, but first we will get to our drawing from last week, the sponge cards. And I have all my names here. Get these in my little trusty gold bag. Okay, and I have Cat. Well, congratulations, Cat. I will get these cards off to you. Okay, everyone, tonight we're going to be using the Celebration stamp set, Awesome Otters. It is a rubber stamp set. Comes with two sentiments and four images. And we will also be using the Simply Marvelous Celebration DSP. It comes in six by six and uh, of course it is two-sided and of course I punched out of here. But tonight we'll be using the Flirty Flamingo from this pack. And we'll be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And um, I had a question about this on my blog about uh, storing it upside down. Yes, I store my Memento, Versamark, and stays on upside down because that way it keeps the ink toward the top of the pad. And the Stampin' Up! pads are designed when you close them, it flips over, so the pad is actually upside down in the case. Um, but these I store upside down. The Memento stays on and Versamark. And we will be using colored pencils. And I will get out my little card pack here and give you the dimensions of everything. Uh, here is the card. Uh, it's a open panel card. I don't know if it has a official name, but that's what I always call it. And then the envelope, just simple with the birthday hat on it. So I have a basic white envelope, which I'll put off to the side. And for the inside of the card, I have basic white and it is five and a quarter by four. And the DSP, I put all these measurements here because I knew I would never remember them. The DSP is five and a quarter by two and a quarter and five and a quarter by three quarters. And our layers here for the card are um, Flirty Flamingo. And this is two and a half by three and a quarter. Coastal Cabana, beautiful color. Two and a quarter by three. And then basic white for stamping is two by two and three quarters. And then I also have a little scrap of basic white uh, for stamping the party hat, and that will be fussy cut. And then the card base is, you could do it um, one of two ways. I have it cut already at uh, five and a half by six and three quarters. And I have another piece that's five and a half by one inch. But you could also do six and a half by six and three quarters and then just slice your, your one inch piece off. Uh, and we will be scoring this at the usual four and a quarter. So let me just clean my little workspace here. And get this out. And we'll just quickly score here at four and a quarter. And just fold it over and give it a good crease there. Then we're going to add the DSP. So I have that piece for layering there. Well, since we're going to cover this up, maybe I'll turn that around so the pretty marbling will be on the other side. I think that's the smart thing to do. And like that. 
So I will just use Tombow, but of course you could use whatever adhesive is your preference. But the Tombow is quick and easy to use. So I'm just going to center that on the bottom strip. And then we'll center this up on the top. Let's just make sure it matches up. Okay, looks good, or as good as it's going to get. So I'm just going to put that off to the side for now. And I'm going to stamp the image, and I'll stamp the party hat. So I'll just stamp the party hat and put that off to the side for now. Okay, and then we'll stamp our cute otter our utterly adorable otter and I'm just going to put it so it is toward the bottom centered on my piece of basic white because we want to have room on the top for the party hat and I'm going to use the colored pencils and a blender pen and as I told you not too long ago, um, with a card during Facebook Live, uh, or maybe it was during a bingo class. I don't remember which it was, but um, you can use the Memento ink uh, with the blender pen if you um, are careful not to really get the blender pen in with the ink. Um, Another option you could use stays on. I just happened to have the memento out when I was making this card. So rather than turn around and grab the stays on, I just use the memento. And you would not want to actually use any watercoloring with the memento because that would definitely just, the ink would spread. And also um, you want to be quick when you color with the blender pen so you don't get uh, any pilling on the paper so you don't want to just keep going over and over it when you use the blender pen so I have uh, early espresso and I'm just going to where these lines are I'm going to put a little uh, extra coloring in there and on his little fingertips and on his toes and then the rest I'm just going to quickly color in Gently, I'm not going to put a lot of pressure. And you don't have to worry really what your coloring looks like because we are going to quickly uh, move the color around with the blender pen. And if you haven't used the blender pens before, they come in a package of three. And you can use them with uh, pencils, you can use them with uh, the regular stamp and write markers. Uh, you can also take uh, ink from your um, stampin' pad or you can put it on a block and you can pick the color up with the blender pen that way as well. So when you start it, you just want to make sure that you get it going. It has some liquid there. You can't see it on the camera, I'm certain, but I can see it here on my paper. And we're just going to very quickly uh, move the color around. Just start here on his tail, and again, doesn't have to be perfect. Just want to move the color around. I like to go in circles when I do it. And that's it. And then you clean your blender pen off afterward. And then I have the black where I'm just going to color in his nose. I'm not even going to move the, the ink around, the uh, pencil around. I'm just going to leave it. And then I will color his hat now. I use the flirty flamingo for the dots on it. And 
Coastal Cabana for the hat itself. Now a very creative and talented blog friend of mine has a saying that uh, happy pencil is a sharp pencil. So I have to say tonight, I do have some pencils that are not very happy, but they still work. So just quickly go over the flirty flamingo, and then I'm gonna move the color around on the hat. Easy peasy, right? The hardest part is fussy cutting the hat. So Shani, I know you will be watching this on YouTube and I do apologize for my uh, unhappy pencils tonight. And Judy, if you're watching, I know you like to fussy cut. I'm just worried I'm going to snip the pom-pom off the top of the hat. Okay, put that aside. And now I will do the layering. So I will just put the stamped piece on top of the pretty coastal cabana. Is there anyone that does not like Coastal Cabana? Love this color. And then layer it on top of the Flirty Flamingo. Pencils out of the way. Now for assembling the card. You want to fold your card over and put your piece on the bottom so it lines up with the back edge of the card. And I use a Stampin' Block just to hold it together. And I'm going to put tear and tape along the bottom and just pull the strip off here and then you kind of want to just eye it to see where to put the adhesive on the top because you're going to just put this so it, it kind of centers between there and the bottom so just kind of eye the where you should put your adhesive and hopefully it doesn't go over and make a mess, right? And like I said, you just want to try and get it so it's it's you know, equally centered all around there with the DSP as best as you can. And then we will stamp on the inside, the sentiment, which peeks through here, the opening. Now I'm not going to attach this until after I stamp the sentiment, and that's what I would recommend uh, if you make this type of card yourself, just in case the sentiment does not come out uh, straight or you know as deep with the ink as you would like. But you could also use the Stamparatus for this. You could set it up ahead of time so you know exactly where you want your image to be, and then you could just stamp it that way. Um, which would have been the smart thing. That's what I should have done. So this card here, I got perfect on the first try. Hopefully on camera tonight with you, I will get it straight as well. So let's give this a try here. Hmm. Perfect, if I do say so myself. Perfectly centered and it's straight. What more could I ask for? And then we'll just quickly add this on the inside here. And 
then we'll add the birthday hat. I first was going to do it with dimensionals, um, but I did glue dots. It pops it up slightly, but just enough so you can see the difference. And uh, I think that was enough. And I used three glue dots. I used two down on the bottom of the hat. And yes, normally I would take uh, paper to glue dot rather than the other way around, but just because that's a little fragile from fussy cutting around it, I don't want to take the chance of ripping the pom-pom off. And I also just need to fold the glue dot over just a little bit so it fits inside the pom-pom. And we'll just tilt his little party hat there. And that is it for the card. And now we just have the envelope to do. And very simply, I just stamped the party hat. And I just gave it a little tilt on the envelope. And I colored it as I did, as I did for the card. So just go in with the flirty flamingo here. And some pretty coastal cabana. And we're just going to move that ink around a little bit. Clean my brush. And that is it, my crafty friends. A quick an utterly cute card. So everyone, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about tonight's card. Uh, let me know if you've gotten this uh, utterly awesome otters free celebration stamp set yet. I know a lot of you have gotten the Simply Marvelous DSP and uh, I just love this paper. I love the colors in it. Um, especially the Highland Heather one, of course. Um, but just leave me a comment. Tell me anything you'd like. I love reading your comments. Okay, everyone. If you haven't celebrated yet, you still have about 10 days. I can't believe that we are already into the second half of February. Well, I wish everyone a wonderful and crafty week. And I will see you back here next Wednesday, 7 o'clock. Um, again, don't know what I'll be doing, but I hope you'll like it. See you then. Bye, everyone.